Hello, and thank you for joining me for this special training video. We're preparing to complete the move to our new, more efficient and configurable user interface. Our new modern layout is designed to be very sleek and clean while still providing more useful information at a glance. Let's dive in. Welcome to the new user home screen. As you can see, there have been quite a few changes. First and foremost, the tabs for Bar Cloud Asset, Stock, My Assets, the Stock Shop, and Bar Cloud Layout have all been moved. They're now tucked neatly behind the nine square icon here in the upper left. Clicking this icon will show the panel where users can now switch between the various portions of the system. Running down the left hand side of the window, we have the menu panel. This panel replaces the previous main navigation ribbon and has access to the files, your transactions, your orders, reports, and more. In its current closed state, users can click on the icons and have the options pop out from the side menu, just like here in transactions. Looking into the file slide out menu, there are two other icons on each row. The plus button is a shortcut to add a new entry into that file, like adding a new item model, or location. The star icon will add and remove this items from the new favorites section at the top bar. Users are able to use the favorites menu to define their own section. It'll start off blank for every user, and as they go through the system, any section they find they use more often, or would like better access to, whether it's files, transactions, reports, history, or more, they're able to very easily add and build their favorites menu. The sidebar menu also has the ability to open. In this state, any of the files, transactions, reports, and other options will populate in a list below the name instead of popping out separately, though they will still have both options for adding the new entry and adding to the favorites. This is, however, the only area to go in and add inventory to your favorites. Along with the favorites menu, the top bar will also have the alerts icon. This icon will have any messages that we're sending to customers, like upcoming server maintenances, changes in support status, and alerts related to the asset and inventory management in Bar Cloud. Users who are looking for the wiki or to connect with support will find these options here under Help. Clicking on the Person Profile circle will bring up options for switching sites, logging out, and for administrators, this is where we have the admin dropdown. Users also have the ability to configure their individual dashboard. They'll access the configuration options by clicking on the icon here in the lower right. There are four basic sections to the dashboard. The top section will let users control which portion of Bar Cloud loads for them by default. This way, users who primarily need to use stock items can load directly into Bar Cloud stock instead of Bar Cloud assets and vice versa. The second option here controls how the panels will be arranged. Users can choose from one column two columns, or three columns. The third section is for font sizes, and users can choose from small, standard, and large. The fourth section will control the content. We have three categories of panels. The general category will offer info on system processes with links or general account information. The second category system will offer information related to system-wide data in the forms of charts and graphs and the recent transactions list. The last group here will either be called My Assets or user, depending on if you're looking at this page in the Bar Cloud Assets or the Bar Cloud Stock page. In each case, 
the panels will have data that is specific to the user that is logged in. So two users with identical choices here can still have different data. Below that, we have a link to the video covering the dashboard configuration, as well as a link to the wiki. Once users have made their selections, they'll press Save and Close. BarCloud will offer to arrange the panels for the users. Whether or not users have BarCloud arrange the panels for them, they'll always have the option to come in and rearrange things as they see fit. Move things between columns, rows, whatever is required to make the system most efficient for them. Nearly every panel will also have options in the bottom right hand corner under the three dot icon. This may range from controlling which particular data circles are displayed to how many transactions are shown in the most recent transactions list. Even which tabs actually appear in the charts and graphs. Please note that this does also affect what data and what charts are actually available for the users to see. Each of the panels is going to have some interactivity. Whether it's something as simple as clicking on a link in the asset lifecycle diagram, or something a little more complex like pre-filtering out a data grid when you click one of the circles. And that covers it for the new UI introduction. Thank you very much for joining me. Be sure to check back for any additional updates.